So, I, uh, my name is Katja Grillner. I'm the Dean of Faculty at KTH and a Professor of Architecture and Critical Studies. Uh, so, with a few brief wor words, I wish to introduce you to the KTH Royal Institute of Technology. Uh, KTH, as you know, is the hosting university of the research project and the event which you are taking part of today. And the urban research and the, uh, what we can call the exper experimental demonstrations that you will be presented to and dis discuss in today's uh, lectures, panels, seminars and workshops, they promise, of course, to be both provocative and inspiring. They address urgent questions and challenges for a sustainable future and an in innovative development of forward-looking urban conditions. So, just a few words about KTH. KTH is Sweden, Sweden's leading university of technology. It's the oldest and largest university, with more than 12,000 full-time students, 1,900 PhD students, and over 5,100 employees. It has five campuses in the Stockholm region, and is ranked 126th best university of technology in the Times Higher Education Ranking. Uh, KTH, uh, KTH uh, aims, of course, to have excellent research and education in all the endeavors we do. Uh, there are five, uh, there are five um, areas and platforms which go across the schools which are especially highlighted uh, in KTH work and also has strategic uh, funding in the fields of energy, information technology, biotechnology and life sciences, materials and transport. And transport research, of course, is uh, urgent in the, in the questions of urban development, which you will discuss today. KTH is placed 126, as I said, these ranking reports are now quite important to the universities across the world. And we were very, very happy to see that in the, when architecture and the built environment was ranked for the first time as a subject, KTH actually came out number 21 in the world, which is really very, very interesting. Um, also, one thing that I think is interesting for all of you to know, KTH has worked very hard over the last five years to build up a much more systematic and strategic collaboration with society, establishing strategic partnerships with particular uh, large organizations and companies. Uh, and he here are uh, our current ten, no, nine strategic partners. As, as you can see, there are not only the large uh, industries, but also the large regional actors like uh, the Regional County Board and Stockholm City. And this is extremely important, of course, also for the field which we are discussing today. KTH vision for 2027, where when KTH will turn 200, to be the leading un technical university in Europe, to have and emphasize a strong cooperation with industry and society, focus on life quality and sustainable development, to be characterized by passion, dynamics and creativity. And in all our research and education activities, as I said, we strive for excellence and societal relevance. Uh, and this is, we think, what definitely must, must mark a world-class engineering university a strong engagement for the development of society for tomorrow, taking on global and local challenges alike. And this, we can see, is also uh, uh, expressed as, as a motto of the current president, Peter Gudmundsson. Uh, a world-class institute contributing to so social development now and in the future. Um, so with that, I would like to welcome Alexander Stoller, uh, the, the host of this event and moderator today. Thank you.